may have everyone's attention. Hi everyone, welcome back to Dark Man Parko channel, man brand. If you're new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe and enable your post notifications, like and share my videos, of course, and you're welcome. I post content every week. Um, for the next two weeks, I'll be posting back-to-back -back content at least every day. So make sure to keep your eyes out for that and don't miss any of them. So today I will be talking about the series Bridgeton. It came out about I think three weeks ago, I obviously am a little late to the party because I had things going on off camera. So Britain is this Netflix series that looks at England in its early stages. I believe this is set in the 14 to 1600s. The majority of the series is set in London. It follows a society that in my honest analysis, I would classify as being very obsessed with opinions and not just with peers or other families but with what i would actually call the very earliest version of a tabloid that being lady whistledown's paper that used to come ever so often now this series is executive produced by shonda rhimes shonda rhimes is also the creator of Grey's anatomy if you are very familiar with her work on that show you are very expectant of certain things to happen in this show one of such things is with the music the score now this may be the nerd in me talking but the string quartet adapting modern songs that we know currently into maybe 16, 1700 versions where it, was a, it didn't really work as well for me. But I just learned to get over it and enjoy it. And they were really good renditions. I'll be quite honest about it. It's something that a lot of people would enjoy. It just worried me in a chronological context. But that's being ultra, ultra nerd. You know, it's not something that should ruin your viewing experience in any way. This show did a very great job at depicting uh, family dynamics. That's uh, interpersonal relationships between characters of the same family or even from different families. That's a very good way of building a story. That's a very good way to emotionally invest a viewer in your content. And this was, this was really, they, they did such a good job. One of the very minor problems I had was I couldn't really tell Daphne's age. She honestly looked 14 at some point and then I had to remember that, oh, okay, well, she must have come of age if she's having to receive callers and having to get into society, put herself out there and potentially get married. But then again, knowing how society operated back then, I mean, I wouldn't really put it past that, but you know. So a big talking point has been the Duke. He has a playbook for being the ultimate player right there. Now the Duke drops this line in episode four that really captures the essence of being, I can't cuss. I have to find a different word. F-boy. Okay, F-boy. Yeah. Now, the Duke's backstory is a very central point of the whole story. It, it's, it leaks itself into different facets of his motivations, of his actions towards other characters. And you really do understand it. It was very well written. Uh, Shonda can write good stuff like this. If she could do this, I don't understand why they had to write off Alex Karev in in Grey's Anatomy season 16 the way they did. I'm still mad about it, but... Now, this season did so well to infuse a, a variety of topics and aspects of life that brought some more realism to the content of the season. Uh, you're looking at disgrace, you're looking at recognition, you're looking at royalty, you're looking at um, intercourse. You're looking at things like societal perceptions, you're looking at certain things not being as commonly known then as they are known now. There was something this series did very well that it, it shocked me, it took me off guard, but I really enjoyed seeing that. I didn't even know I wanted to see it. I'll give this example with the queen and her character arc. Of course, you're not going to see very much about her, but it actually gives her a whole premise for being who she is. There's just one scene. It's probably about three or four minutes long, but in that one scene, you understand everything about the queen and why she is who she is. Now, as compared to modern day society where we actually know the people behind these tabloids such as TMZ and whatnot, we actually don't know who Lady Whistledown is until the very end. It's a reveal that I believe is worth watching from start to finish because you are connecting dots with another character as to who this person is. I could see it going at least three seasons, if not more. 
we know Shonda has the capacity to extend something like that if she's been able to do Grey's Anatomy for almost 54 years. But. So, Bristol is on Netflix right now. Go and catch it if you haven't watched it. I know a lot of you haven't watched it. You've had other things to do. But this is something that would be very worth your time. Anyway, that's been it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Post your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe to Dark Knight Papo. I will be giving you some more content very soon. Till then, stay safe, stay solid, Dark Man out.